Uh, my name is Ashton. Um, back in 2016, I was in current addiction with my boyfriend at the time. Um, he overdosed and passed away. And about six months later, I was charged with his death. Um, I was given five years in prison. First year in, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with myself or my life. I didn't see a whole lot of light at the end of that tunnel. But I, um, while in prison, got involved with a community college and started going to school and kind of used that to start building myself back up again, figuring out what I wanted to do with life and just kind of finding myself as it was. Um, shortly before getting out of prison, my grandma had told me about this newspaper article about this program that was in Finley which I didn't think too much of it at the time. And then when I got out and first met with my probation officer, he again brought up this program here in Finley that he thought would be great for me to get involved in. Um, I got home and grandma was letting me read the newspaper article. And as, as I was reading it, my mom texted me to tell me that some lady named Carla was trying to reach me. So after talking to Carla and us getting together and we started meeting every week, she told me that I would be placed with a mentor. I was with the dilemma of needing to pretty much rebuild everything of my life. I needed a car, I needed my license. I had housing at the time, but I needed my own housing, um, a job. So they, along that whole process, have helped or did help keep me kind of in line as far as what my goals were every week or every month or and within the two months of being home, I had my license, I had a car, I had a job that I got in a recovery center, which is where I kind of took my schooling while I was in prison and felt like that was where my calling was. Well, about the time that, that Carla introduced Ashton to me and I became her mentor, um, this was still when COVID was kind of rampant and I was, really kind of worried about meeting face to face any place, especially indoors. Ashton told me that she had gone and gotten vaccinated and that she had really done it so that she and I could meet face to face. And that just, that touched my heart. And I felt so good about that. And we, over the months, we became closer and we again, continued to meet at least once a week, sometimes twice, texted in between. Um, and it's been a delight watching Ashton grow and uh, develop, find herself on the outside and uh, achieve a lot of goals. I know like about a year after I had been home and been out, I had gotten off probation and had gotten into a not so good relationship. And I kept kind of canceling and dodging my mentor at times and felt myself kind of getting pulled away and either whether I answered her or didn't answer there was one day I think I came home and she had showed up at my door just to do like a wellness check on me so I mean they did that was the stuff that my mentor and this program has done for me is stuff that not even my own family would do at times or you know go to the extremes to do I guess what I would say first and foremost is I, I've gained a really good friend She's not just a mentee, she's a good friend. And uh, just like in any friendship, that's not to say that I haven't been extremely frustrated. <laughs> Those months that you withdrew into yourself, yes, as Carla could tell you, I, well, I was, I was frustrated. But I'm just really happy that things have worked out the way they have. And um, we're back to at least once a week texting every day. She's doing well, at, Ashton's doing well at the job. She has a new apartment um, and I couldn't be happier.